crafters it's amanda i'm here to show you my cool new tool i got it's the new martha stewart punch all over the page this thing is so cool you can get it at uh any michaels it comes in two pieces it magnetizes I mean, it's like really strong little magnets and there's four of them and there's a flat side right here so that's how you line it up because if you don't see it doesn't close all the way so that kind of gives you the guide to know where to line it up at this one is called a, a flourish square and it's like I said, really strong. So, I'm going to make a really quick little uh, apple cider uh, holder with it. And I stamp my image. Here's one I already put together. I stamped my image and then I took my pattern paper and punched it out where the image was. And then it just opens up like that. Hold your little apple cider. It says warm wishes. So I'm going to put this together for you real quick so you can see how this neat punch works. So to start out, I used a 3 and 3 fourths by 11 piece of paper and I folded it and I went ahead and stamped my little apple on there and uh, <clears throat> so here's my pattern paper I'm gonna put here with a brown on little background kind of just to kind of make it stick up because it kind of blends in with that cream color and then for the flap it's the same pattern paper which is uh, this really fun fall Imagine-esque uh, paper it's called apple cider <laughs> how cute is that it's just perfect for this project and uh, I'm gonna put it there I love their paper and it's got like a shine to it and double-sided sturdy I love it so I'm gonna go ahead and glue these two together real quick little oh actually on this one I did a little scallop so I'm gonna use these scissors decorative scissors I got at Target in their dollar section I just love Target actually my little uh, apple stamp is another Target find from last year and it's just so cute so I'm going to glue this little scallop down give it a little dimension two-tone color here it's a little hard to do this backwards but I'm managing there we go okay now I'm gonna kind of try to figure out where my little apple lines up at or where I want my paper at where my apple is okay so let's see how I do I'm gonna do it this way just cuz I want to kind of line it up and then 
there's my flat side. Oh, there it is. Okay. Match them up here. Just like that. You gotta put a little pressure behind it. Oh, didn't get enough. Ta-da! And it's so strong, it went through two pieces of pretty sturdy paper. And there you go. How cute is that? I just love it. So I'm gonna put my little look at that little window how cute I just love this because I can punch it wherever I want now so I'm gonna go ahead and glue this on down line it up where I want it like that and it's kind of white around there, so I'm going to just go ahead and take my brown marker and just trace it out so it'll kind of go along with the outside. It kind of has that brown little edge to it. See how cute is that? Okay, and my sentiment I got from Walmart last winter. They had these cute little cheap little uh, stamp sets, so I thought Warm Wishes would be cute. It's something fall. It could be fall. I mean, that's a winter set, but, I mean, it kind of goes with it. The, you know, Warm Wishes. Apple cider kind of warms you up. So, um, make sure I eat this real good. flatten this out so it gets a good stamp. I don't want it to have any air pockets under it. Ta-da! How cute! Now for my little flap here, what I did to do my little twine bow is I just took some twine and wrapped it around and trimmed it off. Tied a little knot because it's kind of hard to tie a bow and tie it around the page. So I figured if I oops, did this, it would look like it's around the page, but it's kind of like a little cheater method, I guess. And I'm going to trim these real short so you won't see them. And then I took another piece of twine and made a little bow. some glue dots so it'll stay in place. So I put one under this one like that. And then I put one on my little bow. I'm gonna kinda cock it over to the side a little bit. See you can't even tell it's two pieces, huh? And to really hide it, I'm going to take this little red button and stick it right on in the middle so you don't even see any of the little strings. How cute is that? So now it's ready to put your little apple cider in. I just, with this one, I just put a little bit of glue runner in it and stuck it on down. And then to close the flap, 
I'm going to, I used some uh, tacky strip because it's kind of needs something with a lot of strength to it to hold it down. But there you go. There's my cute little apple. Oh, hold on. One minute. Let me add a little bling. Always have to have bling. There you go. How cute are those? Thanks for visiting. I hope you go out and get one of these punches because they're really fun to play with. See you soon. Bye.